Hello everybody, my name is GTX and welcome! Uh, today we're going to be checking out Pal World. Um, it's a new game, it's a new th in thing. Um, everyone's playing it, so I thought I'll hop in and uh, check it out. I've played a little bit of it, I've watched some videos about it, so I know a little bit more about the game. So, it, just to make it a little bit more exciting, I have installed some mods. We're going to be um, playing with a bunch of mods. I'll go through them. There's like instant, fast travel, um, we've got a mini map, we got better breeding, um, the egg hatching I just turned down in the settings because I don't want to wait hours to hatch eggs. There's no point, it's just time wasting and since I'm going to be recording this um, full recording, no cuts, I'm just going to play. Um, and kind of like a stream so I won't pause nothing no skipping nothing we're just gonna play together and I uh, hope you guys enjoy so let's get into it so GTX it's good to preset set up our character I like to go with this guy maybe this guy no. let's go with this guy and then gonna quickly just uh, make him a little darker because I'm a little dar darker skinned myself okay um, facial go with a little goatee I like that one I like the hair the starting hair I don't think I'm gonna change that it's not too many uh, male skin uh, hair skins in that you can apply uh, I mean we can go with a <laughs> nah uh, nope um, uh, no let's just go with I don't want to go with this one uh, this one nope uh, yeah I think we're just gonna stay with the basic hair gonna change the color color um I'd like mine to be like a blurple, nice little blue and purple. There we go. Also going to change the facial hair. Uh, the customization is pretty good in this games. In this game, um, even though it's like an early access or whatever, it's not a full release yet. Let's go with purple as well with the eye color, and then facial hair uh, nah, just go with a nice black ok cool hair's done, voice what? huh? yeah! nah I like that one ok let's jump into it so I just want to say thank you guys for Hopping over and uh, giving my channel a go. Hope you enjoy. Uh, if you do, smack a like. The uh, the little bells. <laughs> it's so funny. It's a real good uh, starting spawn video, or whatever intro. It's pretty good. I quite enjoy it, the little bells looking over you and stuff. Get our little ancient tablet or whatever. <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay, let's uh, jump into it, guys. Uh, so, like I said, I did change some uh, basic settings. As you can see, I have the mods installed as well. Uh, the mini map is in the top middle. I've not gotten it. You can edit it; it's on the side or whatever. I'm just gonna leave it there because uh, I struggle like uh, half an hour just to fix it to move it. But for some reason, I can't get it right. I'll probably try between videos just to get that right. Um, it's a little wonky. I like that it's 3D, but the problem is if you go against something, like if I stand against this wall and I look down, you see it just focus on my character. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise than that, it's nice. I like the 3D look of it. Okay, let's uh, get our first fast travel point over here. Talk to this guy. I'm not going to be reading any of the stuff. If you guys want, you can pause and read it, but I'm pretty sure you guys have seen other YouTubers play this and they uh, read it for you guys. Okay, cool. So, it is a survival game. 
little cross between uh, Ark and Pokemon. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna gather resources. Because it's, it's a survival game. Grab some berries and stuff. Ooh, a free pal sphere. Nice. Maybe we can even catch our first pal here in the first few uh, minutes. Let's just grab a little bit more of this. Now you can punch trees. You get wood, which is awesome. You can also punch rocks, I do believe. It just takes a while. Let me pick up that stick. You can also uh, punch rocks as well. It just takes a little longer. You don't take damage like an arc, which is pretty cool. Like that. Okay. Uh, on top right, we do have our little tutorial thing just to get us going. So let's check that out. Survival. There's everything you need to know about the game. We're mostly going to be using this elements over here just to see what elements we need to defeat other elements of pals. So yeah, we're mainly going to be using this one, which is good. Okay, next thing. Okay, we need to build our primitive workbench. Like, you can't craft anything on your person. You have to use workbenches in this game, which I kind of like. So, we can get the basics here. And uh, let's just start with all the basics. Get like a club and a pickaxe and axe. And even a torch. Otherwise, it's going to be too dark for you guys when it gets dark in game. To see because YouTube. <laughs> let's get our torch crafted up. Look at the little chickpeas just walking together. It's so cute. You don't know it, but one of your chickpeas is gonna come on with me. Now, um, let me some eggs. Ah, I need a little bit more stone. Two pieces of stone. I see one over here. It's gonna give me two. Ah. Perfect, gave me two. Let's get our axe. And then we're just gonna pick up the workbench because uh, I don't wanna build my base over here. It is a starter area, but like I said, I've played this before, so I'm just gonna go straight to a decent spot. Ooh, look at that. A Dysom right there. Chickpea, chickpea. Let's just see if we can catch one of them. So we have our li first little pal. And he can come with us on our journey. Maybe I should put him away so he heals up a bit. We got a Kativa's over here. Are you scary cats, literally? <laughs> this dinosaur. Ooh, it's a boss. Is this a lucky? What has a bo boss icon on it? Yeah, there's no boss icon on the map here. At level 16, ooh, he would mess us up real good. Okay, wants us to do the technology tree. I'm um, just checking for some more resources and we'll do that in a sec. Just want to grab everything I can. Can actually chop some wood and stuff. Just to get some uh, resources. Because we're going to need it. Uh, let's chop it down like two trees. And then we'll also... Uh, harvest one stone node, just so we have the resources once we start building stuff. Uh, let's get this one. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to do a little playthrough with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we do have metal over there and we have uh, palladium over here. I'm just going to grab some of this. So I know we're going to need it. You need it to make uh, the pal spheres to capture pals. So I'm just going to grab this and then we also need to grab some stone, which is right over here. Grab some of this. And then I do have a spot in mind where I want to build my base, my starter base. And uh, we're going to go over there just in a minute. I just want to get this stone mined up. Damn, the stone is, is thick. I like the little mini map, it actually updates faster than the real map, like if I was looking this way. See the real map's looking that way, if I turn around this way. Uh, okay, it's, it, yeah, like there, you see it took a second to update. 
Uh, there we go, as you see. But the minimap is pretty. It's it's like almost instantaneous update, which is which is pretty awesome. I like the minimap because uh, sometimes you have to keep opening the map just to say exactly where something is. But when you have your mini map, the small mini map, and you're close by, you can see it on the mini map. Okay, let's uh, do some stat points. As you can see, my weight is increased. I have a mod that does that, which is awesome. Everything else should go the same, like stamina only goes up 10, health goes above by 100, work speed 50, that's the normal, and attack by 2. So I'm just gonna do a health. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get a little lamble over here. Don't have any poke uh, poke, uh, pa pal spheres, not poke spheres, pal spheres to catch them yet, but we'll come over here and catch them again. Now there is a little cool feature. I don't know if they're gonna call it a feature. It might have been just uh, over sight but uh, I'll show you now once I grab this chest there we go we got three pal spheres of that so we can actually catch some more pals don't want another chicken I want to catch a lambo so if you slide down hill your <laughs> speed increase drastically <laughs> uh, let's just grab this lambo and uh, also want the kitiva that one's running away though. And these little buggers are pretty fast. Oh yeah, and the effigy, we need to go grab that. The green little ball over there, it's the effigy. Uh, choose to upgrade yourself. Uh, this, this one's not paying attention, so I'm going to catch you. You can also swim in this game, it's pretty cool. And when you get out of the water, you like soaking wet, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Quite enjoy that. Small little things like that that makes the game just that much more enjoyable. Okay, let's. Uh, I guess let's go to the spot where I want to set up. We have a decent amount of resources. Some pal spheres, we've got some coin, got food as well. Now in this game you can eat your um, meat raw, which is awesome. Um, you don't have to cook it, you don't get sick or anything, it just gives you less uh, nutrients than it would have given you when uh, it, it was cooked. I'm just gonna grab some more berries as well. Okay, let's get down here. <laughs> it's so much fun. I like that. I hope they don't patch that out. Because this is real neat. Ooh, pals here. Before I pass that up, let me grab this. Uh, Ichthyr deer. I also want one of those guys. Ooh, a gumos. I really do need a gumos to start off with. Let's see if we can get this guy. Did you just lay egg? You're not a chicken gumos. Why are you laying eggs? Come here. Be my friend. I want you to be... Ooh. I almost killed it. There we go. We got him. You on the other hand. I don't think I can knock you out just yet. Uh, he is one of the world bosses. That's on the world. Mammarist, level 38. We're not gonna mess with him right now. He will mess us up. Ooh. Another pals here. Nice. Gonna grab this fast travel. I wanna go. I think it's over there. There's a big. Or over there. There's a big uh, flat area where I wanna set up my base. It's just because it's a little hilly and stuff over here. Uh, ooh, we also need a pinglet. I'm gonna go for the level 5. Need someone to do the watering at base. For automation. Don't you. Nope. Ow. You got me. Ah! And your buddy. Buddy's got your back. Nope. Come on, just be my friend. Get in the Pokeball or Pokesphere. 
Talosphere. Damn. Keep saying, Pookie. Okay, I don't want to play with you no more. Oh, stop freezing me. Gonna have to do something about you, otherwise you're just gonna keep on coming after me. Get in the pal sphere. Got a chest over here. Nice. Oh, nice. We got a mega sphere. Awesome. Ooh, more, th more pal spheres. Nice. I know there's a sneaky egg usually around this corner. And there we go. We're just gonna grab this. We won't be able to hatch it yet. Cause you need to unlock uh, specific stuff stuff to do that. Just want to grab some of the stuff I know is in the starter area. Maybe some more berries as well. Uh, just so when we get to base or even when we're traveling, we can feed our pals when they get hungry. The good meat uh, that, I, that I got from killing a pal is obviously going to be saved for me though. I get the good stuff. They can eat the berries. They pretty sure they're vegetarians in any way, so most of them, obviously. Yeah, they're swimming today, like I said. It's pretty cool. You can't go down, though, but at least you can swim. Let's get our stamina back. So we got uh, two effigies so far. There's a little guy over here we can talk to. Let's uh, see what he has to say. Or give us, because I always give you something. I think this guy gives you wood. Ah, more paladin fragments, which is nice. Got effigy over here. Got a piece of lure as well. Just gonna grab that. And then we're gonna head this way. Ooh, I need a fire pal as well. Pretty sure these fox bars are gonna mess me up though. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, nope. Friend's gonna shoot at me, and that's unfair. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the one and run. We did catch a Kativa, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Snake up there. Uh, okay, cool. Ooh, Kremis. Ah, uh, no. I thought it was a Vixie. Because uh, we do need a Vixie in the start. You always want to get a Vixie as soon as possible. Because uh, the Vixies give you um, pal spheres and stuff. The blue pal spheres when you put it in the ranch, which is super helpful early, early game. Once you get a little late game, you start crafting better uh, pal spheres and stuff, so then it's not that useful. They still give you arrows if you're still um, using like a bow or something. Ooh, chest. Let's get a chest. You have... Get some medical supplies and arrows and some money. Defense. We're going to be taming you pretty soon. I don't want to do it right now, though. Just want to get to my base spot that I like and set up here this is one humongous uh, skull or skeleton pal I don't know maybe sea dragon or something it looks pretty awesome now the pal sphere yeah, and then we got a effigy right here now I do want to set up my base over here I like this spot it's flat, it's open, there's not too many trees and uh, there's actually, if you place it correctly, you'll have no trees uh, inside your base area, which is uh, preferable. Otherwise, when you have a pal that has like a skill for tree cutting and, uh, for an example, planting, and you want them to do planting, if the trees pop up, you'd rather just go and chop the trees than do the planting, so... 
Yeah, um, let's get a campfire. We need a wood chest. We need a repair bench. We need wood structures. Uh, bed, pal bed. Yes, cloth. Yes, common shield. Stone spear. We need the feed box. We need some clothes. We need a parachute. We need the rounds. We need the berries. And yeah, uh, we have one point left though. I mean, I'll get the old bow. We should level up pretty soon. Yeah, we're almost level six. But let's get this base started. Uh, so, the first thing we want to place, obviously, bow box. Um, when you're placing it, you can, like, on the edge there, you can actually see the blue ring. Like, if you look at the rocks over there when I move can see it touch it or not so I want to place it not touching any of those sides and then uh, maybe there will be like one or two trees embedded into our base but that's fine place it nice and central uh, not the chicken I'm on Kativa which yeah. can help bolt so it goes quicker, which is an awesome feature in this game. I love that the pals that you have can actually also help you like working, not just fighting. It's pretty cool. Okay, uh, next things next. Um, storage chest, not right now. Uh, campfire, need structures. Gonna do my little base placement over here. Uh, I don't want to place it too far back, otherwise the pals are gonna get stuck behind it. Let's just do that. Get some window walls. I can make those one normals. There and there. Okay, normal walls there and there. Let's get this up before it gets too dark and you guys can't see. There we go, we got our level. Just wanna finish this up quickly. Flip that. Uh, roof tiles. Turn. There we go. And that one. And the last two, come on, snap there. There we go. There we go. Okay, and uh, now we need bed so we can sleep through the night quickly. I'm just gonna place my bed like by the window. There we go. And if I open this, Kativa should... Uh, no, she won't, because she's not at the base. She's in my inventory. Let's put some pals out in the base, so they can help with... Oh, uh, crap. There's a rush roar. I forgot they spawn in this little area. I'd have to take care of this, maybe even tame it. Give me a rush roar. Where are you going? Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, we got you. Okay, Kadiva, chill. You go in there. Hold that. Nice, so we got a rush roar. That's also a mount. We can get it saddle. Um, I'm actually gonna put the rush roar on first, because he can help defend. I know it's getting super dark for you guys. Let me light it up for you. Just wanna get a few more stuff built. Uh, we do need pal beds for pals. Just gonna make a few of them. Maybe like four or five of them. Uh, oh, nope. I don't not want to place that. There we go. Um, we need a feed box for them as well. Now you don't want to place the stuff too close to each other. Otherwise the pals, they get confused and, okay, we need more wood, we need more wood for anything else. Wood, 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 wood and fiber. Okay, cool. 
Ah, uh, little rush or just sleeping by the door, protecting us. Okay, let's just nap. Mm. Sleep until morning so you guys can see. And then we'll get to chopping wood. Getting the rest of the base set up. Diva's building. Uh, what did we need to upgrade this? Build a wooden chest, okay. Let's go grab some wood. Yeah, there's like one tree inside the bubble. <laughs> Which is not bad, because if we have one that has a uh, lumbering, a pile that has lumbering, I'll only have one tree to chop and then I'll get back to the other tasks. Grab this. How much stone do we have? We have a decent amount of stone. Just grab more wood. And get this base all sorted out. Get the pile box leveled up. And then get some arrows and pal spears, maybe some armor. And then we can go out and uh, try and catch more pals. I love the uh, mod that gives you more uh, carry weight. Enjoying this because you can actually go out and collect a decent amount of resources rather than running back and forth, which gets annoying real fast. Okay, inventory's almost full. Hey, little defend. I'm gonna catch you soon, don't you worry. You're gonna be one of my pals. Okay, Kativa. Mm. Bolt. Thank you. Okay, so we did need to make a wooden box to level up the base. So, I'm gonna... I wanna do my boxes over here. Just see, is it straight? looks to be so let's just start over here gonna place like six of them I think Three, four, five six it's just been in the beginning because these trees they don't have a lot of storage then I want to make my workbenches in here as well. We'll do the. Now I think we'll do the repair station over there. Let's get this lined up. There. Get the repair bench by our bed. Because this one won't be upgraded, this one will always be just this repair bench, which I love. You don't have to have like upgraded repair benches and stuff to repair later on items. And uh, let's just build one of these boxes so we can get that uh, upgrade on the base. So we can put some more pals out to help us. There we go. A sip of coffee. Okay, let's go. Let's uh, upgrade this bad boy. Uh, primitive workbench, so we just need to finish that. Kativa, can you? Yeah. Ah, no, she's gonna do the chest now. Nope. Do this yeah. one. Thank you, I'll do this one. Okay, that one. Get the repair bench. Ah, thank you, Kativa. Oh, she's so cute. Cute and cuddly. So this is just the basic setup. You're gonna do all of this, follow the tutorial, you know, craft pal spheres and stuff in the top right. Which I'm actually gonna do. Damn, I can make 40 of them. Cool. Uh, but that probably took out all my stone though, so I'm gonna cancel this. Get my resources back. Let's do like 20 of them, so I don't waste all my resources. Do I know you want to be building that, but can you make a pal sphere so we can get that going? Okay, now we do need a campfire to start cooking stuff. Uh, I don't want to put this where the pals is going to run over it, otherwise uh, they will catch on fire. You can also catch on fire. So, just be warned about that. 
Uh, I don't think your base can burn down though. I think it's just the pals and you that uh, catch on fire. Which is, uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of cool but dangerous as well. I'm gonna start cooking those. Now we do need to put some food in here for these guys. Can I have the bear? Ooh, why is it so laggy now? Um, I'm gonna put Fox Bar on because she's gonna do the cooking for us. There she goes. Okay, next thing's next. Uh, let's see what we have in the technology tree. Get some. I wanted to get the arrows. Nice. We have the Rush War saddle, the Fox Bar saddle. Uh, I know the Pal Gear Workshop and the statue we're gonna need to level up um, the base, so we'll grab those. Um, uh, nothing else we need right now. Okay, cool. So, let me start chucking these. Oh, she's finished. Thank you. Uh, can you make me a bow? Thank you. Let's uh, craft these storages up. I want to start sorting my stuff. I'm also hungry. So I should probably eat something. I'll just eat this bread. And that be some meat. And we should be good. Just get these uh, built up. Our pal box can be upgraded, and uh, we'll do that in just a sec. Just finish up these storages so I can start sorting out the inventory. Now the pals will collect stuff, and they will drop it in the nearest chest. So, um, sorting out the chest and keeping them sorted is sometimes a challenge. But as long as you place the chest closest to what they're gathering, they'll drop it in there first. So let's do so all the basic materials in here, crafting materials. Okay, pal spheres I want to keep. Uh, I need to keep food on me. Uh, pal souls. And we'll do the organs in here. Uh, that's also basic resources. The pal fluid. Use that to craft stuff. We need the arrows. Then we got eggs. Uh, I'll drop these two in here and we'll do the eggs and. Is it the right one? No, this one. Drop the eggs in there. Once we get an egg incubator, uh, we'll uh, get that going. Gonna get a bunch of arrows because you go through them pretty quick. Let's upgrade this once, twice. Nice up to level 4. So you can put more pals in here. I'm gonna put Gumos and a Pingalit. Burly body and aggressive. I will keep the aggressive one on me and put the burly, burly body. What does that give you? Plus 20 defense. Ooh. And this one. Attack and defense. So maybe let's switch these two. We'll keep the burly body on us. Uh, Kitiva's good with construction. So is Lambol. Kitiva does gathering and mining though. So let's uh, switch that out. We'll have a rush roar on us. Lambol, Chickpea can actually go in there. Lambol, to be honest as well. well they're not really good fighters. They're like weak ish pal so uh, yeah we'll just put them in the base uh, I want to get the ranch as soon as possible we need to get the statue of power as well so let's go grab some stone over here ooh chest a purple one my favorite color let's grab this got some arrows nice and some gold good good now one of the other mods I also have on here is uh, the merchant, the one that sells your items. Um, they have more items for sale, which is pretty good. 
I'll show you guys once we uh, get to a merchant. Yeah, there's a few few mods I do have on here, which uh, it just makes the game, you know, uh, go a little quicker, help out a little bit more. I mean, that's the basic point of uh, mods, I guess. There's no crazy mods out there yet, like pal changes or adding new pals or stuff like that yet. But uh, there is one that makes like pals huge, like really, 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 like a size of a Bronto and stuff like that. Well, maybe not that high, but yeah. Um, I don't have that installed though. I just want to have the normal experience with you guys, with the exception of the extra quality of life mods, if I can call it that, you know, like the weight and the extra stuff you can buy from uh, the store. Oh. Okay, my axe is broken. Another cool thing in this game, your axe does get broken, uh, but you can still use it. It just uh, does less damage, so you gather a lot slower. Like your axe, your pick, uh, even your weapons do get damage. You can still use them, but they do like super less damage. Let's get a bunch more stone while we're here. We're also getting some ore and pallium fragments, which is nice. Not a lot, but at least gives you something. Uh, looks like Fox Bar is finished with the food. So let's grab this. There we go. Uh, cook up some of the kebabs. Can I actually just finish this? There's only one, we can also cook the eggs, two of them. Some uh, fried eggs. Now we can also cook the berries for them. It'll give them more nutrition, which is good. Uh, I think it gives 25 nutrition when you cook them, and if they're raw, they only give 15. So you always want to cook them because it's going to give them uh, more nutrition. Uh, have we leveled up? So I think I still need to unlock the berry. No, I have the berry plantation. Oh, it's here in food. want to get this. I'm going to get it close to the food here. Or maybe... No, maybe. We'll do it this side. Because we'll uh, place this. I'm gonna make two of them. Gonna place these and then we're gonna put a storage chest in between. Like I said, if they gather stuff, they're gonna put it in the clo the nearest storage. Uh, storage right here. So when they gather that, they're just gonna drop it off here. They're just gonna walk like that. They won't take it all the way there or even to the food box over there. Because I want to uh, cook it first. I'm constantly going to have to cook it so that they can uh, eat better food. Just grab some of this and chuck it in here. Just in case some of them get hungry. Uh, how's my food? Good. I'm just going to eat that. Okay, you see little gumos here is seeding. It's pretty cool. And then Pinglet will do the watering. And I think Kativa, no, it's not Kativa. Yeah, Kativa does have gathering, so Kativa will do the gathering. So this little plantation is automated right now, which is pretty cool. It's a cool feature in the game. Okay, they have some berries. Let's go drop off some of the stuff, repair our. Ooh, grab the arrows. Uh, let's go in here. You can just tap R the wood in there as well. Anything else? No, we can have the bow. Just gonna have the bow there. And then repair the rest of the stuff. That repair, I like that the repair is like instant. There's no like crafting time to repair stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, um, 
what's next what's next let's do the range so we can get some wool now I have noticed if you put the range like kind of on the ball border of your base then pals uh, they tend to get stuck behind it so I don't want to do that I want to give it a little space at the back so they can walk there and then place it a little bit forward so there's room here so that they don't get stuck uh, let's get this one built. Oh, everyone's helping. Well, everyone that can. Get this, and we can also see the PAL boxes is available for upgrade, so we can also upgrade that as well. Get some more PALs in there, and then I think we should go and uh, capture some more PALs. Let's just get this crafted. Ah, uh, Gumos just finished seeding everything. So when Pinglet is uh, finished helping us build this, he should run over and water the plants, the seeds, I should say, because it's uh, not uh, little plants yet. They're just seeds, little berry bushes. Oh, that's a little texture glitch. <laughs> Looks like the little box is in front of the fence. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, we got a level up. Nice. Now Pinglet's gonna run over here, do some watering. Nice. And uh, let's get this one upgraded. Gear. Uh, build a PAL gear workshop and statue of power. We can do that, hopefully. There we go. Statue of power. I'm just gonna put it here by my entrance. There we go. And then the bow gear workshop. We need to cloth for that. So we do need to get a little lambo in here. It's also going to help with crafting. But when you put him, uh, let me just go in here. You see, as uh, farming with the little fence icon, uh, it means when you put him in a uh, ranch, he's going to drop something. And it says he sometimes drop wool when assigned to a ranch. And he's serious, so he has plus 20 work. Was it work speed? Was it work speed? Yeah, work speed. So he drop us wool pretty fast. So he's gonna go in here, he's gonna say grazing, and then he's gonna start dropping us some wool. I don't know if I did pick up some wool. Let's just quickly check. Oh, Gativa's still busy with arrows. How much arrows do we have? A hundred? <laughs> nice. Um, I think I'm gonna cancel this. Uh, we can get four. Nice. Thank you, Gativa, helping us out here. Let's get this cloth. There we go. And then I do want a parachute. Let's craft one of these. Uh, let Diva craft that. We have. Don't I craft four? Oh, the parachute takes two. So I'm pro. Oh, <laughs> luckily this one only takes two. <laughs> I thought I was not going to be able to craft this. Uh, just put it next to it. Ooh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, wait, Diva. Wait. That was not placed correctly. One, two, nice. There we go. Looks a little better. Don't want it sticking out the window. And Penglet also just hopped over to help. And Lambo. Lambo, you should be making wool, man. Now you can assign them to the ranch and then they won't do anything else. Like. Okay, I'm just waiting for Lambo to walk over here. If I pick him up and then run over here and s uh, throw him in here, then he should just only do ranching. There we go. So if we craft anything else, which I probably should, put a box close by here. So if I place this box, I'm just gonna get it in a nice spot right here, then he should not run over. Like you see, it's only Pinglet running over to build it because he's assigned to that. 
If it's just uh, running around, you'll do that unless there's something else to do. Then you'll uh, stop grazing and run over and help us. Uh, we have 5 out of 5 power beds, so that's good. Now, the statue of power, you can increase your player's capture power. Do you have four so we can actually do it once we need one more to level it up again and then you can also do your pals you need these uh, souls to do that pal souls um, so for example rush roar if I want to do half it's gonna cost me one of the blue souls and then it goes four blue souls and three purple souls and then three gold souls to get it all the way maxed out uh, yeah, so just so you guys know, you probably already knew. Uh, nope, not, not that one. I want to pick up my parachute. Also, want to get a shield. And then we also want to get armor, but I need more uh, cloth for that. So let me just uh, craft this up. And then we'll see if Lambal has dropped us some stuff. Maybe get some more. Maybe we go and catch a few pals. Give him a little bit more time to uh, to make us some wool. Okay, cool. So we have our shield. Okay, it went on straight. Parachute went on. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's uh, go catch some pals. I guess we do have 22 pal spheres, which is good. I want to get one of these guys. I'm going to go for the higher level one. I mean, we can get both because you get uh, XP. Get XP, extra XP from catching the first 10 of a kind. So we can also do this little pingler over here, which is going to level us up. Right between the eyes of that one. The T fans. I wanted a T fan. Let's go and grab a T fan. Uh, is it something on top there? Looks like there's something on top there. I'm trying to look for the corner of my screen. Maybe it's just a tex texture. Yeah, it looks like a texture. Uh, let's start with the level 4 T fan. Ooh, I'm doing. Good damage on that guy. Okay, I don't want to kill you. Get in the ball. Let's see if you. No. I have to damage it at least once. Let's see if we can get up here. Let's see. Oh. oh, it's a little glitchy. Let's see what's up top here. I know uh, the creators of Bow would like to hide stuff. Oh, it was something was a chest. Ooh, stamina, stamina. I almost fell down. Nice. Bell souls and arrows. I can also see a egg up there and there. There's the effigy. Ooh, we only need one more effigy to upgrade our stuff. Let's see if we can get this D fan down here. Uh, Kobe! Oh, I missed him. <laughs> that was so close. Get in the ball. There we go. I wanna get over here and uh, get that effigy over there. Because we only needed the one more to upgrade our capture power again. And then it's gonna be easier to capture pals. Stamina, stamina. Let's go, stamina. There we go. Okay. Let's get up here and then we'll just glide over there. Or we'll parachute. Uh, we have more fox bars up here. And the chest. Nice. 
grab that bread and med medical supplies. Nice. Let's get these two. Oh, he's running away. Bingalow, get over here. I need levels. Give me your XP. Ooh, only 82. 90. Nice. Okay. Oh, I missed. There we go. Ooh, it's a level 6, this one. Ooh. Don't you get shooting me. Your little fire blast. Level 6 fox bar. I just want to be your friend. That's the only reason why I'm shooting with arrows. Kobe! I uh, missed that one. Uh, Gumas, we do have one can catch more just to get levels but not gonna do that right now what's that that is just the explorer note just trying to see if there's anything else over here uh, does not look like it so let's see if we can't get this uh, effigy that's over there just gonna run up here, top of the hill, and then uh, glide over there. Uh, can also these uh, you can use the slider slide sliding uh, technique with the uh, with the parachute. I'm gonna try it here. Get you a little bit more speed. Ooh, and there's an egg down there as well. Let me grab this one quickly. Ooh. There we go. Let's get up here, get the effigy, and then maybe we'll uh, get back home. If I don't see anything else I want to grab. Uh, since we did level up, we should be able to unlock and uh, craft more stuff. Let's quickly check our tech points. So the saddle ray can be used as a glider, which is awesome. I'm just gonna get the saddles for the pals I do have. Then uh, logging side, yes. Stone pile, yes. A bat, that will be nice. Crusher, we do need. I'm not gonna go for the poison stuff because you need to get the venom glands and. Uh, you have to kill, uh, what's it called, the dark types to get those, so it's more grindy to get the poison arrows than just to use the normal one. We also have a mounted torch. We can light up the base a little bit better. Uh, okay, we do have that fast travel, that's where we started. Uh, I did see another egg over there. Maybe we should go and get that. See if I can make it all over here with that little boost. Oh, <laughs> my character is getting a little glitchy going that fast. Uh, not, not all the way. We've made it most of the ways over there. So I quickly grab this egg and we'll go back home. Bunch of tea fans over here as well. Ooh, this was a rocky egg. Be my friend, and you be my friend too. I need your XP. Fox bar, you too. Catching all the pals I can. Come here, Pengalot. Where are you going? Be my friend. Ow. No, I said be my friend. Ow. Ow, ow. Ah, oh, I killed him. I don't want to do that. Well, technically I knocked him out. 
Uh, don't want to. Don't want to kill you. Do a little mm. small hit. Now it's getting a little dark for you guys. Just finish this one and we'll go. Okay, now the mod I do have installed that I wanted to show you guys is I can just open my map and teleport to base. I don't need to be at a fast travel. It's a pretty good mod. Uh, quite enjoy it. Uh, just easier, you know, cuts down on time and stuff. I actually want to quickly build one of these torches. Uh, just so we can light up the house, but otherwise, when we're at base and it's dark, you guys can't see if I'm doing anything. There we go. Okay, we have a bunch of stuff to drop off. Uh, eggs go in here. We have uh, those ones in there. I uh, can drop those and then these ones. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's just let's see. Did I level up again? I did. Nice. So the Tundra outfit I'm gonna get because at night it gets cold. Uh, what spring wind do you need? Sandbags we don't actually. See all the pals are going to go to the bed. You see now I'm cold. Because it gets kind of cold at night. So let's take mm -hmm. a nap and we'll see what we can upgrade our base to. Sip of coffee. go okay okay base upgrades hot spring we need more paladin fragments for that and we need more paladin fragments for these as well so we need like 32 more uh, just see Lambo you have been grazing so yeah there's 12 wool right there I did not need to take it out because everything inside the bubble, uh, when you craft, it'll pull from all the storages, whatever you need. Just gonna make some more cloth. And maybe get some armor, because we do need armor. I want to get that cold armor, so when it's night time, I can actually still work the tundra one yes uh, just one state kativa do that um i want to drop the rest of this stuff off now this is our basic mat so i want to do a different chest for crafted items let's do that one then uh, repair my bow Now we can do saddles here. I want this one. I need more cloth. Two more. Hey, oh, you're hungry, Kativa. Okay, you go eat. I got this. Actually, you should check on their food again when I'm finished here. I want to get the gloves for Salary because uh, it's much better than the parachute. The parachute is basically just there when you fall from a high height so you don't die. That's why you don't craft. Um, ah, they still put the berries in here. I'm pretty sure they were gonna put it in there. Maybe it's uh, uh, that is priority above um, storage. Just cook those up. So this is actually gonna be useless. Might as well just take that out. Uh, we need the Paldium Fragments. I know there's a little Paldium spot up here. And I'm hungry. Should just feed my pals as well. Um, 
go get some Paladin fragments over here. Got some defense as well. Be my friend. Please be my friend. <gasps> I'm out of health spheres. Uh, sorry, defense. Actually, need to pick up your resources. They do give pal fluids, which we're gonna need in just a few moments. And now I have to get a bunch of this because I need to craft more pal spheres. You know, in the starter area, there's a ton of this. Um, but you can also go into caves to get a bunch of them. Let's grab that one. There's not any more over here. I don't see any more close by. So we'll just take this back. You drop so much uh, quicker down when you uh, use the parachute. So I really want to get that salary um, gloves. Oh, and I almost forgot, we can actually grab our capture power. Nice, right, so next one we need seven. Um, I wanted to make more PAL spheres. Pinglet's gonna mosey on and help us with that. And then... Oh, I was gonna bolt. But I just used a bunch of stone. And Baldium fragments. Ugh. Maybe I should go and farm some in a cave. I know there's a cave close by. Just wait for the spheres. Ooh, we got a little lift marker here. Nope, nope, not that one. Give me those spheres. I want to catch this lift monk. There we go. We don't have one of you yet. Yeah, brutal. That's a bad stat, which means uh, it's not going to be too strong. Was it here? No. Ooh, there's a chest over there as well. Ooh, and more. Uh, I'll let that uh, go for now. It's a pal sphere over there as well. Uh, let's just change to different pal. Just grab this. Storage. Got some more braid. Health souls and coin. Nice. Grab that pal sphere. Let's uh, uh, go into this dungeon if it's still here. It was around the corner. Yeah. So in here there's big uh, Paldian um, nodes that you can harvest. And that's what I'm here for, because we need a lot of it. Well, just until we get the crusher and the stone um, mine thing set up. Uh, we can also <laughs> capture some pals when we get in here, which is yeah. always useful. Uh, you can catch her. Yeah, it looks like it. See, these are the big nerds. I can actually, ooh, if I had space in here, you would have put the Fuddler in here. Fuddler's good with mining. And he could have helped us with this uh, frag, uh, Paldium fragments. Actually, I, uh, I don't have the saddle for Rush Roar. Rush Roar also can knock down stones and stuff. get more of this. Okay. Take, take a little coffee sip.
Wait for that stamina. Yeah. There we go. So there's also, I think this is sulfur. Let's see. Now this is ore. Might want to grab some of that, but not right now. I'm here for the fragments. Ooh, a daydream. Daydreams are good. Oh, oh I pushed the wrong button, but anyway. <laughs> Let's uh, get them down so we can capture them. Ooh, I didn't even know you can shoot those little purple sphere stuff. Uh, that one might need a little bit more persuasion. Persuasion. <laughs> Look at me speaking the English very deliciously. Uh, English is my first additional language, just so you guys know. <laughs> Okay, we got two daydreams. Let's see the map. The mini map's actually working pretty good inside the cave as well. Pretty surprising. Uh, this should be four. Okay, we got three ways to go. Let's go left first. Guess we're doing a dungeon. First little full dungeon. Ugh, syndicate. How much arrows do I have left? 60. Uh, let's see what brush work can do. Get him, rush war. Get him. Uh, leave me alone, guys. I'm here for the pals, not for you. Ow. Pal pirates. Pal pirate folks. There we go. Ooh. Got a little lag spike right there. I don't know why. Uh, there's another uh, Paldium node here. I'm just gonna catch this. Wait, if I. I can do this, right? Because he does have mining. Yeah. He can help me out. Let's go, Rush Roar. Get this done. I'm doing way more damage than you though. But at least he's helping a little bit. Just get this uh, node done. Oh, <gasps> my pickaxe broke. Now I'm doing how much? Four, three, four damage instead of 50. Uh, Rushford is doing 8 at least. I wonder if I can use something else like my bat. Uh, also for torch. <laughs> 2 damage. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's just... Yep, this one. Just use our pickaxe. It'll be fine. It's almost, almost finished though. Getting a lot of Paldium fragments though. Which is good, because we're gonna need a bunch of it for PAL spheres and base upgrades. There we go, thanks Rush War. Okay, let's uh, see. Let's keep going left, I guess. That one is slowed, so this is the next one. Which is technically straight. But let's just go this way. Oh, the minimap is so good. Like the 3D look of it and everything. Oh, it even shows you when you open your little chute. A killer Mari. These guys are good uh, gliders as well. I want to get this high level one. Nope, missed. That one. Catch you for the experience. Yeah. There we go. Send the thugs over there. I don't want to play with them. Oh, I'm poisoned. Yeah, they're dark types, so they can poison you with that little poison glob that they shoot at you. Uh, there's no other entrance or exit over there. 
It's chest here. Damn, this. Uh... Ah, I just realized I thought it wasn't. Okay, so this is the end of this line. What we get out of that chest? Probably golden, whatever. I didn't even pay attention. Doesn't matter though. Because uh, sometimes in these uh, chests that you get, you can get blueprints of stuff that's not even unlocked for you yet. Could be a high level stuff. Could be something you already have, like the clothes I'm wearing, but it could be like uh, uncommon or rare or epic or legendary. Um, blueprint of it and if it is it'll have more armor and protection and whatever okay so we keep going left I guess it's more daydreams how much hours do I have not a super bunch just gonna run past them we'll eventually get in here with a bunch of uh, pal spheres and arrows we'll take out a bunch of them but uh, not right now. I actually just want to collect chests and uh, get to the boss. And this is the boss. A dire hell? Ooh. I don't think I want to be taking on dire hell. They're all pretty good. Good mounts and stuff. But I want to see if we can't get something a little bit more useful. Dire hells are mounts, so you can ride them. They are kind of useful. But we can get like an electric type because I don't have an electric type yet. That'll be more useful right this second. Because we do have a uh, rush roar, we technically have mount already, so we're gonna take a pass on the dire wolves. Wolves? Is it dire wolves? Dire house, sorry. Uh, the press, so. A dark type though. Uh, I'm gonna skip that one. Yeah, if you don't engage them and you run back and forth like this, you can actually get them to spawn different ones. Now there is only a set of uh, specific ones that will spawn in uh, each cave, depending on the level as well. But well, we'll see if we can't get something else. Run around there. Go back and we'll see what we get. Huh. Let's see what we can get. A Kilimari, a boss Kilimari, or Lucky, or whatever they want to call it. I'll take it. Boss Egbert. Let's actually get the rush war out here. Help me, rush war. Let me take down the boss. I'm gonna quickly focus on this small guy. There's extra damage we don't need to be taking. <gasps> I don't have any pal spheres. Oh, this sucks so bad. I did not pay attention. I only grabbed six, I just remembered. Crafted a bunch there. Come on, Rush Roar. Do I need to get someone else out here? Come, Pinglet, freeze him. Ah, dodged. Now, you do need to kill the boss to open that force field that's over there so you can exit. And get some loot because there's uh, some chests in there. So, we're just gonna kill this guy. We'll come back and uh, get the other ones. Pinglet, what are you doing, man? Can I have you and don't attack? Attack. Get him. Because he's a flyer. Well, in that case, Celerate, can you help me out? Because you should be flying the same height as this guy. Get him. Get him, Celerate. What's going on with the pals, man? 
You guys need to start pulling your weight. And I'm out of arrows. So that's good. Let's see if we can set him on fire. Don't you spit me on your stupid acid balls. There we go, Celery. You're actually doing something. Get him. Nope. Missed. There we go. Got some venom glands from him. And now the force field is open, so we can get through it. Chest. Ooh, we got a heat resistant shirt and a ruby. Nice. And a high grade technical manual. These are good. It's an uncommon one. Um, if you use them, they're going to give you extra points to use in your technology tree, which is pretty good. Uh, I want to get the Kilimari. I'm not going to get the Daydream uh, necklace yet. Uh, three shot bow, yes, please. Furnace, yes, we need that. Head gear, nails. We've got six points left. Two, four, five, six, seven. Uh, uh, maybe I should have not taken that. Want a high quality workbench and maybe we'll just get the pickaxe for now. We have to save up for the metal axe. The metal axe there. Uh, the left mount, submachine gun. Uh, we'll get that one, I guess. Okay, so go back home. Well, exit the dungeon first. And then we can just go map and back home. There we go. Everyone's still good here. Berries are all cooked. Let's grab those. Chuck them in here for them. Okay, it's a little laggy when I get back to base, but it should go away in just a sec. There's my pal spheres. Drop off the resources in here. Bam, there we go, 363. Nice. Spheres there, we got the uh, bread. So these you can can be sold, can be sold. And these ones we need to drop off. So we have we're out of stone though. Might have to go get some stone. Just drop off all the stuff. There we go. So I'm gonna have to get stone. I need to repair my pick. If I can. Oh, I need to stone to repair it. Uh, ooh, I see two stones on the floor right here, so. Let's uh, just grab them. And then. Uh, Oh, there's more stoners over there. Nice. I'm also hungry. I'll have a bite in just a sec. And I can upgrade my pal box. Did not notice that earlier. Let's uh, repair this bad boy. There we go. Let's quickly upgrade the pal box and we'll go grab some stone. Uh, this one. There we go. So we can add one more pal here. We have two celebrate diet lover and the blood of the dragon. Increase to dragon attack damage. Okay. Uh, we'll put the diet lover at base because they're good for watering and transport. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll do someone else. Who's doing our harvesting? Is it Kativa? Yeah. You mining, harvesting. That's good. Kilimari. Ooh. Kilimari has a transporting of two. Uh, Slacker. We don't want that one at base. And Swift. We'll keep the Swift. We'll put the, uh, the normal one up here. Just sort them. Also have tea fans. They're just good for watering. So we're not gonna need him right now. 
Pyromaniac. Uh, increase to fire attack damage. Damn, this fox bar is actually good. We need to keep one of those in our unstable. Nope. Um, let's put that fox bar in here. Dainty Eater. Burly and Abnormal. It's Abnormal. Uh, increase to nature damage and defense. Uh, logging foreman and dainty eater. Let's do dainty eater for the base because then they're not going to consume too much. And then we also have the left monk, but it's brittle. I know brittle is like minus defense. Uh, sun, suntan lover, increased fire damage. Okay, waterproof, decreased incoming water damage. Uh, plus work speed, minus defense. So this guy has got minus 30 defense. Which is uh, pretty bad. It's got planting as well. Um, Lift Monk has got logging as well though. So, does it have gathering? Yes, it does. So, we can actually swap it out with Kativa. Yeah. Okay, now I want to build these guys. Uh, I need stone. Okay, let's go grab the stone quickly. We'll just go over here when there's two stone notes. And then we also need to see if we can make that a uh, uh, gloves for uh, on him. For Kilimari, this guy. Because if we can get the gloves there, we can take the parachute off. And then we can glide with him. And he doesn't drop nearly as fast as the parachute when you start to glide, which is good. And I'm still hungry. Let's eat one of the big ones. Two of them, I guess. There we go. Back to stone mining. Let's grab. Um, I think I, I'm gonna just grab both of these. Both stone notes. Just so we have a bunch. That's 150 stone from that one. Let's see uh, the total amount of stone we get out of these two. Yeah, mm, I think it's gonna be a three hundred, I'm guessing. Come on, and 300 on the dot, so they both give us 150, I don't know if all stones do, but that's nice, nice amount. Uh, do you need to get more baits though, pal baits? Um, let's just get a few more placed down quickly, otherwise they're gonna lose their sanity. They don't have a good place to sleep. Uh, ugh, wood. Now I need wood. Ah, uh, two of them should be fine. Okay, we got fox bar. What are you doing over here? Okay, can I pick you up? Ooh, fox bar is a little glitched, I guess. Drop these in here. So we have the stone. Let's get. Oh, and now we don't have the wood. Obviously. Let's go grab some wood over here. I need to equip this. There we go. And it's getting night time again. Sorry, it's gonna be a little dark for you guys right now. Actually, I kind of forgot about this. I put Fox Bar close to me. 
Um, she should light up the area. Uh, she lights it up uh, a little bit. Get this wood. Just gonna grab all these trees. Because I know we need a ton of wood uh, to craft those. Uh, Structures for our base. Cool. Back to base. Okay, so we need a log site. Like I said, I'm not gonna put them on the edge. Otherwise, the pals do get stuck. That one there, and the stone one, just uh, next to it. Decent amount of space, and then we're just gonna put a wooden storage box just between them, so that the pals don't have too much of a travel time uh, to deliver the stuff. Um, let's cook them berries for them. There we go. Can actually, oh no, the other fox bar is gonna come and do it. You're gonna only have one uh, working on the campfire and some of the starter uh, crafting stations. Can only have one though. We don't get any more effigies now. Uh, let me drop this stuff off. Drop that off and let's go to bed. Nice, oh, so what's that? Day three done now? I think we're doing pretty good. Um, okay, so we got both of those. I want a high quality, but we need ingots first. So we need a furnace. And, uh, place the furnace. Where am I going to place this? Where I'm going to play? Maybe next to this thing. Yeah incorporate it into our build. Let's get this bolt actually. Pinglet can help me here. Just get this done and we can start Making some ingots. A left monk, yeah, left monk should chop some trees over there. It's good. Now, how much can we make? 23, it's not bad. Oh, uh, Pink Love is helping, sorry man. You can help there. Okay, let's see what we have in our technology. Why is it showing something? Ah, uh, it's probably because uh, this one. Just hover over that. Now you do have your little pal deck here, kind of like Pokemon. Uh, it just tells you a bit about it, and if you go here to habitat, it shows you where they spawn. It's pretty cool uh, during the day and during the night. Ooh, we ran past a spark kit. I really want an electric type. They're pretty good against the water. I do believe. Yeah, got Gumas over here. Defend, the Presser, Kremis, Daydream, Rush Roar. Now Fuddler is a good miner. We're gonna put him out in the base. Mao. Cool, that was probably in the cave. Uh, the Dire House. We got these three as well. And dinosaur that we s uh, saw in the starting area, and then the mammoths, the bus. So, yeah, there's a total of 111 pals we need to catch. Okay, um, uh, I have skill points. I'm gonna do 2000 weight. I'm gonna start working on my health. Maybe. Got 600 health. Let's go to 800. 
And then do three points into stamina. Or should we just do all into stamina? Yeah, 150 stamina. Sounds good. Because stamina is a bit of a pain. Uh, okay, we need arrows and we need pal spheres. Uh, let's get those crafted. I also want this two cloth. Let's make two more cloth. So you just make all of it. Because we're always going to need cloth. Just going to grab the two and let him finish up there so we can get this. Ooh, this is going to take a minute. Oh, and the other pinglet is going to come and help me. Nice. Let's get this uh, crafted up. So we have a glider. Then we can get uh, rid of our parachute. Because then we're going to use Kilimari as our little glider. Which is way better. And uh, maybe... What can we do next? Hmm, let me think. I think, let me think. Could go do the cave again. We also need to make more um, arrows though. Mm, I'll see. Let's just get this crafted up and we can see what we want to do. Do I have everything else set up? I actually need to check what uh, we need to. Um, need to do to upgrade our, our base again. There we go. So now we have a new glider. As you can see, n doesn't drop as nearly as fast as the uh, little parachute. I'm just going to discard it. Don't need it. Uh, finished making the cloth so we can make some more arrows. 97 arrows. Damn, that's gonna take a while. Yeah. Get on it, Pengalette. Uh, I wanna drop off this. We also need to find a trader so we can sell this stuff. See, I have no arrows. We need to get a Vixie. Because Vixie passively gets your arrows and uh, Pal Spheres, the blue ones, if you put her in here. Just see if you can't. I'm gonna run this way. See, if you can't get a Vixie. Don't have any arrows though, so I'm gonna have to beat her with a club if we do get one. I know I have seen some of them over here. There's a lift monk. Why is it so laggy over here? Just run around here and check if we can't uh, find a Vixie. Ooh, chest. And what's that? Pal sphere? No. Just a normal palladium fragment. Got a little purple chest right here. Nice. Ooh, got some iron over here. Ooh, we got electric. Okay. You're not gonna. Maybe get a fox bar out here. Fox bar, you, you're missing, mate. I'm uh, gonna throw you out there. Get him. Just initiate, otherwise we're gonna keep running. How did that not hit that? Get him now, maybe. Fox bar. There we go. Oh man. I killed it. I really want a uh, electric Pokemon, so. Damn, that spark gets fast. <laughs> it's all the way up there already. Fox bar. Yeah. Get him. Nah, he's super fast. Oh, here he is. Get him, Foxbar. Get him, get him, get him. There you go. 
I get on kill him now. Get out of the palace here. I need you. There we go. We got a little spark kit. Nice. And since we're up here, let's just check. Maybe we can find a Vixie. Damn, why is it so laggy? Game isn't full release, so there's gonna be more uh, optimization done to it. Maybe I can turn down some settings. I don't have the best computer, but. View distance is high, maybe put that on medium. See if that helps. I have noticed when it loads in like caves and stuff, it does lag out a bit, quite a bit. But I don't think we're close to anything right now. I think it might just be the area. Ooh, I see a chest and I see stuff fighting each other. This dire howls are gonna kill me if I get close. Uh, let's just try to get away. Ah, oh, Pixies! Nice. Come here. Be my friend. No, 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 no. Yeah. Be my friend. Thank you. And another one. I want to get a bunch of them. So they're gonna give us pal spheres up the wazoo. Ooh, and uh, level up. Nice. Is there more Pixies down here. Maybe. I want to get that chest as well. I don't see any more. The floppy and the direwolves are fighting. Can I grab one of them? Grab you, grab you, and grab you. <laughs> Just gonna go all out. Ah, the floppy got out. Floppy, get in the ball. Got the two dire howls. Come on, floppy. You know you want to. There's a whack as well. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I'm just washing my balls now. Let's uh, get this Vixie. Mm. You get another Pal Sphere. And I got another Pal Sphere over here. Nice. Okay, cool. Nice, nice, nice. What's that, another Vixie? Yes. No, it's not. It's a Kremas, Kremas. I do need to catch some of you, so. Yeah. I need to catch 10 of every single uh, pal. Just for the XP boost to level up and stuff, so. Might as well just catch it. Uh, I know there's an egg up there. Not gonna grab it quite yet. Let's uh, get back to base. We can put these Vixies in here. What do I need to upgrade? Build a crusher. Can I do it? I need wood. Is there wood in here? Left Mark, have you been doing your job? Only seven. I need 50 men. Get to it. And uh, just go grab some wood. Uh, grab 50 wood. Oh, uh, the rush rolls respawned. Level 6, not level 4. We can, I think we can just actually kill them right now. What's good against earth? What's that? It's water. Uh, good against grass? Hmm. I don't think I do have a grass on me. Nope. Let's uh, just grab some more words so we can place the thing and upgrade our pal box. There we go. We need the crusher. As soon as we there we go. Um, I'm gonna put the crusher over here as well. Now it looks like I'm all only stacking everything on this one side of the base, but. Uh, the later stuff's gonna require a lot of uh, room, so I kind of wouldn't leave the other section open for that. Because the crafting stations and stuff's getting it gets humongous in this game. Like you have like assembly lines and stuff, which is crazy. 
You're not gonna help. I need you. Since the other ones don't wanna help me. Get this done so we can upgrade and we can put our big C's in the ranch. Almost done. There we go. Nice. So we can upgrade this. There we go. Need a hot spring to upgrade again. Uh, uh, not right now. I'm gonna take the salary out. I'm gonna put the spark kit in. Ooh, any swift, nice. Uh, just sort these. I got our three vixies there. Lambel, you were making wool, right? Um, I'm not gonna need a bunch of that right now. You're doing transporting too, which is good. Got a watering. Planter, our fire guy, and our harvest and planter. So we can actually take Gumos off as well. Then we can add uh, three Vixies. There we go, Vixies. Run to the ranch. You guys are just gonna get me pal spheres and arrows and gold, I think. I think they do gold as well. Our ingots are finished. So we can get the high quality workbench once I make 10 nails. Let's get that going. Uh, grab that, cancel that. We need five of these because it makes two. There we go. Craft this up. You're gonna help me a little pinglet. Thank you. Get these nails crafted up so we can get out. Uh, advanced crafting table and then we can make some of the newer stuff also need to get a pals uh, a sphere workbench I don't think we have unlocked it yet let's quickly check uh, we got the medical bench where's the pal the sphere works bench. Okay, level 14. We, we're almost there. Uh, medicine, the <laughs> meat cleaver is a crazy thing. We got pelt armor as well. Nice. Uh, we wanted to get the metal hatchet. Once we get the nails, just gonna help me with this. Thank you. Uh, once we get the advanced one, we can craft the better. Um, Axe and pickaxe, which will help out a lot with the gathering. Come on, let's get this done. Crafting is so slow. The better workbench should um, craft faster as well, these basic resources. Which is also going to be helpful. And I'm hungry again. Man, I tell you, this guy just gets hungry for anything. <laughs> Come on, last batch. Let's go. Does it craft two or only one at a time? I think it crafts both. Let's see. Yeah, okay, cool. Done, and now we can make the high quality workbench, not advanced, high quality. Let's get this lined up as good as we can. Yeah, it looks okay. <coughs> Help me, Pingalet. Let's get this done. 15 seconds. We can make a better pick and pickaxe. Which is going to help out tremendously. Let's go, go, go. Nice. Now we can make metal. Oh, I need more ingots. Guess we're going to have to go get more ingots first. Or ore first. Turn it into ingots. 
just repair all of this. Good. Um, ooh, 180. That's a lot. Let's do uh, 50 more. And uh, drop off the resources. Drop that off. Drop that. Oh, drop that off. Uh, wood and that needs to go in there. And then crafted items goes in here. Got our eggs in there. We got our seeds and medicine in here. Swap. Thank you. Uh, we also need to get back on crafting some food. I'm running a bit low. I'm about to eat my last pieces of food. So, do we have anything else we can craft except the berries? The bells are doing good. They have a lot of berries to eat. We can craft some more for them. Uh, might have to kill something. Let's uh, spark kids. The grass was doing good against them. They said, I don't know. Spark it, get him. Ooh, nice. Little monks also helping. There we go. You can also capture them. You still get the resources, but honestly, I don't want to. <laughs> Cause they're gonna keep spawning here. Ah, might as well. It was low enough. There we go. Let's uh, quickly cook this food up. I'm just gonna cancel this. Cook some food for us. Nine pieces. Fox bar is gonna get on that. Uh, drop these off. I know there's a settlement, yeah, right here. Uh, I think while it's crafting food, I might quickly just run over there, get the fast travel, and uh, maybe sell the stuff we got. Get some cash. And then our um, Vixies can also have some time to. Get us some pal spheres and arrows. Ah, uh, might as well. <laughs> that was like one shot. Totally worth it. Oh, I see another pal sphere over here. Oh, syndicate thugs. They're gonna get wrecked. My little spark it should take care of them. Just gonna run into the city here, grab this fast travel. Small settlement. Okay, not a city, it's a small settlement. And then I can show you guys this uh, merchant that actually sells a little bit more stuff than usual. Thanks to a mod. So, yeah, this is what the modded merchant has. You can buy all types of uh, PAL spheres, which is pretty good. Obviously, the prices. And, yeah. You can even buy ingots or ore. I think you can buy ore normally, but you can't buy quartz, I know. You can even buy civilization parts. Uh, why is everyone fighting? Have you followed us here? Stupid thugs. Get wrecked. Jeez, it's starting to lag. Why is it so laggy? Okay, let's uh, sell this stuff over here. Yeah, I wanna sell you some some good stuff, man. And 2,500, not bad. Uh, to be honest, I'm gonna sell you these as well. 
How much should we give you this? Only 120 new things. They are way more important than that. Okay, so we can buy some stuff. I mean, I can buy ore by our goals and just mine it. Uh, buy like a hypersphere. One of them. Mm. Can buy mega spheres for 900. Milk eggs, wheat seeds. Buy berries for 50. Buy flowers for 20. You buy one wheat for 100. But you buy flour for 20. That does not make sense. This should be like the other way 20 for that and 100 for this. Also by coal, nice. Ancient civilization parts, pal souls. This will be nice for leveling up our pals. Because these are kind of limited. You can get pals that some drop some of these in the farm, or you just have to keep killing them so that they drop it. But now that you can buy it, it's awesome. So you can set up a little, uh, uh, what you call it, a little gold farm you know I know they buy nails for a pretty good price set up a little place to make a bunch of nails sell them and then you can buy these which is pretty awesome I like that I like that mod I added ooh, ooh, lag I know why it's lagging because there's a cave right here how much arrows do we have 36 arrows um, well, we do need iron. We don't have to do the entire dungeon. Let's uh, let's go into the dungeon. See what we can do. See what we can get. I need the ore though, so I'm gonna focus on that. But if there is pals I do want to catch, I will do so. Uh, usually, this first room has a bunch of ore. What pal do I have that's high level? A uh, pinglet. Nope. I want to switch first. Let's do fox bar. Get him fox bar. Why are you running at me, man? You want to get killed? Yeah, get did it. Um, I don't see any ore in there. Might have to go a little deeper into this cave than I wanted to. Let's see, can I see any ore somewhere? It's another calamari. Uh, maybe that. Maybe that'll be some ore. No, this is gonna be coal. I think. Yeah, that's gonna be coal. Baldium. I need ore, cave. Give me ore. Here we go. There's the shiny stuff. This is what we need. We need a bunch of this. There's a few spots on the map that uh, has a bunch of ore nodes all clumped together. Uh, we'll eventually get to that. It's not very close to this. Well, the ones I know of. So, we'll just get this first. Actually, I think... Yeah, it's over here somewhere. There's a big node. With like six or eight of these uh, ore nodes around. We'll just grab this. This should be a uh, decent amount for now. I mean, once we get a flying mount, it's going to be easy to get uh, around the map quicker as well. Just grab this. It's almost finished. Yeah. 
Fox Power is taking a break at base. <laughs> Stamina. There we go. Any more? This is sulfur. We don't need that yet. Mm, nothing that I can see. Okay. Just quickly check the other ones. See if we can't uh, see any ore nodes that we can grab. <laughs> Jeez, Fox Bar. What a jump, man. Syndicate thugs, I'm just gonna try to avoid. I'm just here for the ore, man. Uh, you attack the fox bar. Ah, thought it was a ore nade, but it's cool. Anything here? Ugh, there's another entrance over there. Uh, ah. Right in front of my face. Nope. One, one, one. That one. Uh, Pal is hungry. Oof. We don't have food though. How hungry are you? Not that hungry. Little fox bar. Just chill out, man. Oh, go. Chill out, girl. Just gonna grab this and we can go home. Um, I'm just gonna mine this. Gonna take a quick little break. Oh, my weapon break, so this is gonna take even longer. But, uh, I'll be just trying to get something on my mouse right here. I'll be back in a sec. Quick ba bathroom break. Uh, you guys go get something to drink. Quick bathroom break, and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Let's just finish this. Oh, weapons damaged. Yeah, I remember now. Uh, I think we should have a decent round. 177. Uh, now, I have not tried this. I'm gonna try this now. Hopefully, it doesn't break the game, but I'm gonna teleport out of the cave. Oh, I can't. Okay, cool. So, the mod actually stops you from teleporting. Because I don't believe the caves are exactly where they say they are because you kind of go through a loading screen type esque thing um, 
Yeah, let's just uh, get out of here. I can remember which way I came in at. Was it the arch or the wood section? <laughs> now I can't remember. I honestly can't remember which way we came in. And there's a, uh, a mall over here which will give us money in the farm. So, try and catch this. Come on, yeah, there, be my friend. Nice. Cool. Am I going deeper into this cave when I go this way? Or am I exiting? Uh, this feels deeper. Yeah, Foxpar, I know you're hungry, man. Just get back in the ball. Let's get the torch out for you guys. The dungeons and stuff they made is really, they did a good job as well. I mean, even just the ceiling, sometimes you just have games that it just has like a flat top or just gravel, but like this. But they actually made it look really good. Uh, was it this way? A little fuddler swimming in there. Uh, no, but I know the boss is this way. It's usually in this little watery area. And you follow this one where it splits into two sections. You follow the water, then the boss is over here. So, I'm gonna see what it is. It's a tea fan. Nice. Um, uh, it's water. So, let's just quickly have a look here in the survival guide. So, electric. And that's why we. Oh. And that's why we need it. Spark it. Spark it. Get him. I'll help, don't worry. So, so oh. oh, that was a little late on that one. Spark it, you're almost dead, man. I need you not to die, so we can take the big guy on. Yeah, focus me, so Spark Kit can do that damage on you, man. There we go. Get electrified. Sometimes when you when they get electrified, sorry, <laughs> I'm just concentrating. Then you can actually um, capture capture them. It's like kind of a stun. You can also knock pals down, like dizzy. And then they catch really quick. Hey, I just needed one more defense to have caught ten of them. All the XP boost. But we got him. We got a little boss defense. Well, I say little, but he's quite big. Ooh, we got a schematic. Gold resistant pelt armor schematic. Nice. That's what we want. Need those schematics. Kind of like in arc, you know, with a. Ooh with the um, drops uh, in this game it's just the uh, uh, storage uh, the little chests that gives you drops basically and you can only get the good stuff from those there we go now we have food box bar have some food man you did good spark it you too there we go so we got more stuff to sell the ancient civilization parts we do need to keep because you need those for crafting. Uh, grab some more arrows. See, this is what we got. It's the cold resistant pelt armor, which is actually, we're only on the cloth armor right now. I think I did unlock the pelt armor, but not the cold one yet. So we can actually uh, craft this one, and it's an uncommon one. <laughs> It's an uncommon one, so it's going to be good. Uh, let's just drop the basic stuff off here. Uh, got some more of those. I do have the blueprints. I know one of these chests are empty. Is it this one? Yeah. Chuck the blueprints in there. These are going to be for selling. That's food. 
Oh, what was missing here? I uh, can't remember. Maybe I was more food. Got some pal spheres. Not a lot. We need to make more or quickly check if we have more. The ancient civilization part is a crafting thing, but I'm gonna put it by these ones. Because they're pretty important. Okay. How are you doing? Do you need some help? Actually, let's quickly go check the Vixie's box. Oh, no, it's not that one. This one. There we go. 19, 10, and 10. Boom. Got 19 pals here. Vixie, are you okay? Seem a little glitchy. Do I need to help you out? There we go. Okay, cool. Fox bar is cooking up some more stuff over here. Oh, it's actually morning. We did the dungeon the whole night. Um, we craft up some more berries. And this game, as you can see, there's daydreams over here. They spawn at night. They will go away eventually when it turns fully day. But there is pals that only spawn at night. Um, in the world, I can actually show you. Uh, Palbeck. Let's go to the daydream, for example. If you go habitat during the day, does not seem to be active at this time. But if you go night, then it shows you where it spawns. Um, same with uh, the the presso. During the day, not only at night. So that's also pretty cool. So you actually want to play at night as well do in this game. Most games you just want to skip the night because it's dark and you can't do anything. But in this game they actually kind of want to, you actually kind of want to get out at night to catch some pals. Uh, let's just get this crafted out. This is going to be a huge upgrade for our armor. And it will also help us uh, during the nights when it's uh, cold. Mm, just gonna let spark it carry on there. Uh, we did level up, right? Yeah, let's quickly check here what's new. Ooh, we got the crossbow. That's gonna be major damage increase. Metal spear as well. Training demo, cooler box. I don't really care for that right now. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else we missed that we really want? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. It's just a crossbow. Getting them arrows, nice. Pixies are doing their thing. Pals do have food, right? Yes, they do. It's cooking up some more berries. I don't know, maybe I should. Yeah, maybe I should catch some more daydreams. Just gonna give us some XP. Oh man, guys, I got this. I was spark it. Uh, at least we got one of them. Give us—you do get XP when you kill them, but not as much as the first ten captures of a uh, of a creature. Uh, no, it's this box. So you actually want to capture them rather than kill them the first ten. And then obviously you can upgrade them eventually by using a bunch of the same pals to smoosh them all into one pal. Um, that's gonna be a little later on. And uh, yeah, then you want like... I think if you want to take one pal all the way to max stars, 
You need... How much was it? I think it was... Uh, 117 pals that you need to catch. That's like excluding the one you want to upgrade. So yeah, it's quite a bit. Okay, let's get this uh, ore smelted. Fox bar. Yeah, you got this. Thank you. Um, how damaged is our stuff? Okay, we need to repair quickly. I quickly want to go fight the one of the first uh, world bosses. Um, not a boss, uh, world pals, I should say. Just so I can put a bit of armor on. Look at this difference 25 defense, 58 defense, half, 182, half, 70. So this is way better. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can sell those. Let's quickly check. I don't know if you can sell clothing. We can quickly hop over here and have a look if we can. It's a little less laggy. Or I think it's because that dungeon is finished now. No, it's still there. We did do the boss though. Maybe it just respawned. I want to sell you something. How much are you going to give me? 32 bucks? Okay, I'll do it. Um, we can buy stuff. I really want to catch this boss if I can. 5 bucks an arrow. Damn. We have 10,000. <laughs> we can buy one large power soul <laughs> for 10k. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be late game for purchasing. I wanna get some better spheres as well. I mean, I can buy like 10 or 11 of these. Or I can just go like crazy and get a hypersphere, which should catch it like. Yeah. That should catch it. Okay. Um, she's up here. Let's uh, chill it. Uh, we don't have a fast travel over there, so let's go to this one and we'll just mosey on over there. Ooh. Give it a second to load. GDX. So I also want to go over there. There's one of the trees that gives you uh, skill, skill fruits that you can learn to your little pals, give them new abilities. So I'm actually gonna go this way around instead of just straight over there to chill it. And uh, yeah. Let's uh, get over there, I guess. I'm just gonna climb up here. Eventually we can get a grappling hook, which is also pretty cool. I did see a mod for it, so it uh, takes away the cooldown timer. I might add that uh, for the next episode or whenever I get the grappler because uh, the little timer on the grappler is like 10 seconds or whatever. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Grab this common egg. Also got an effigy over here. A lift monk effigy, uh, grass skill, dragon, and a water skill. Nice. A little pal sphere over here as well. Ooh, this is gonna be a major boost. Damn. Grab a little pal sphere. Get a little boost to get over here to chill it. Now I do believe she's like an ice dragon type. Yeah, so fire. Fox bar. Go. I choose you. Come on, chill it. Oh, must. Oh, must. 
Okay, I don't want uh, don't want it to die, so I'm just gonna pull back Fox Power there. Let's try one of these balls first. Oh yeah, 100%. We can catch a bigger boss with the ball I just bought. I spend a lot of money on. Okay, uh, I see Foshfell over here. Let's quickly go grab that. There's nothing else. Uh, it's this way, yeah? 92 meters this way. Oh yeah, it's a little castle one. Nice. I do believe there's... His arrows, usually in this little thing over here. Yeah, I see them. I want to take full damage there. Three... I got seven arrows there. Three arrows. Nice. Just wanna come and grab this fast travel point right here. <laughs> Sorry, I got something in my throat. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, there's a chest over here. Ooh, Pinglets are fighting something. What are they fighting each other? <gasps> I need a copper key to open that. That sucks. What are you guys fighting? Oh, you're fighting a deer. Uh, well, let me... If I can hit the thing... I can help out. Ow. Why do you immediately switch to me? Little... Ass. Oh, I used the green sphere. I should change back to the blue ones. Well, we have a little deer. It'll help with the wood gathering at base, I guess. Thanks, Foxbar. You did good. There's a bunch of lift monks around here. Also got them lamb balls. I still need to catch like five of them for the starter tutorial thing, but I'm not going to do that right now. Get up this tower. I think those two towers as well, the broken one and one of the other ones, also has some stuff on it. This one has a lift monk effigy. Nice. Let's get over here. What do you have to say, man? This game is so beautiful. Just have a look at it. So majestic and beautiful. And I mean, you can go all the way over there, that's the ice area, and then that's like a mini ice area. It's just massive, and I do believe the desert area is that way. Which we'll get to, eventually. Just need to... We just need to uh, get past the starting area, I guess. Let's go this way, it's uh, less of a glam over here. Okay, let's get up here. See what we can find. We did get our boss, so we did get our, uh, our skill point or whatever it's called. Ah, there's nothing in there. I thought it used to be something in there. Maybe it's just up here I, I was thinking of. Or even a different castle, because there's a bunch of castles on, uh, on this map. It's pretty cool. Here we go. Nope. Ooh, there's a egg over here. Don't mind if I do. We can actually... I think we can actually unlock the egg incubator right now. Yeah, there we go. One ancient technology point, which you get from defeating the world pals. Uh, yeah, we do need more iron. I did repair my pickaxe, yeah. Let's quickly go grab this iron over here. We will need it. Ooh. There we go. Don't have to be sneaking, man. Let's grab this iron. I'm actually. Nope. Actually, gonna uh, rush war against it as well, because he, he'll help out a, a little bit. Rush war. This one, please. 
Dude, what's wrong? You can't attack this. What do you mean? Oh, well. I guess I'm gonna have to do this all by myself. Let's grab some iron. Or some ore. I keep calling it iron. It's just called ore. Grab a bunch of this. The animations and stuff in this game is also pretty good. They did a good job on it. I mean, just look at the clothing. It's not just basic uh, short and stuff. They they did like quite a bit with it, you know. It's like a little scarf thingy and stuff like that. Open shoulders, even though it's uh, for the cold areas. The armor I'm wearing. Yeah, they did a good job on that. It's not the plain generic, you know, thick pelt pants with boots and a fur coat or something. Which I kind of like. Gives it more of a little anime type feel to it. Because you see those anime people or well, characters they damn some of them barely wear clothes and then that's their cold armor or whatever <laughs> yeah Ooh. okay base you loaded in that was a lag spike yeah arrows and spheres thanks vixies you guys are awesome so glad I got like three of you take that take that take that yeah. Also got those skill fruits. Might want to put it on some of our guys. And Banglet, you beast. Uh, no one's working on the nails there. Can I get someone on the nails, please? Yeah. Thank you. Let me just uh, drop some of the stuff off. Got some eggs, which we can actually uh, craft something crop the egg incubator to get them going put the food there those, those and those needs to go in a separate box um, I'll put the horns over here just because I don't have any space anywhere else those are good, those things, skill um, just put these in, no wait I had a I had a spot for those that were in here. There we go. Maybe we should put this. This is only sell to merchant, right? We sold out a merchant, okay. Put them down there. We do have skill fruits. Um, I'm actually gonna check quickly. Electric is weak to crown, ground is weak to grass. Do we have a grass? Now we got water dragon. Ah, oh, we do have a grass type attack. Okay, cool. Because I want to give a grass type attack to my um, spark it. Um, I'm going to do it like that, GTX. So go in here. And I want to give the grass to you. Then I do have a water as well. Um, survival guide. Uh, water is good against fire, fire is good against grass, so our grass Pokemon, we need to get a, give a water ability to. Grass, water, ground, fire, electric, grass, water Pokemon, can take a ground. And then we also have a dragon ability. So the water, uh, why did I go out? Why did I go out? So the water ability we need to give to grass type. We don't have a grass type on us, do we? No. Um, Calamari, you are a dark type. You also already have water ability. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just craft this last three arrows. 
Then the nails is also done. Okay. I can't remember what I needed the nails for. High quality workbench, we do have that. Uh, we can make an egg incubator. Now I did change my settings on this. So it's going to be instant. I'm not going to wait hours for eggs and stuff to hatch. It's just wasting my time and yours. And since I'm not cutting out anything, there's no point in me having to wait two hours for egg to hatch if I'm only doing three hour recordings or whatever. So we're going to hatch an uh, egg an episode and we're going to finish the game before I even hatch all the eggs that I collected. So I just changed it to all the way down. Just uh, for the YouTube sake. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the skill fruits away somewhere. Maybe in here. Uh, put the nails in there. And I'm gonna grab the eggs. I'm gonna do all the basic ones first. So let's do this one. It's a common egg. Okay, dire, dire hell. Nice. Let's do the next one. Okay, we got another deer. Oh. Should stop pressing escape. <laughs> Ooh. A rabani. We don't have one of those yet. Uh, let's see what the rocky egg gives us. Uh, a, a fuddler, okay, we have one of those. Okay, now the large verdant egg. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, we got a dinosaur, work slave, and diet lover. That's great for the base. And then a large dark egg. What are we gonna get? A tombat, nice. Got some good pals. He's destructive though. Let's see, the Tombat's real good. Um, let's just see about PAL numbers, so they're all organized. Um, so we got the Dying Psalm, which is planting to and logging. So we can swap it with uh, the Left Monk. Then we got the Tombat, which is mining to, gathering to, and transporting to. So our miner, we don't even have a miner though. So this one is planting, would work. Just get all our... What do you do? You're gathering an ice. Bunny, you're just crafting. Dire house, just gathering. The elk deer we also need. That's good for logging. We need to see if we can upgrade this. What do we need? We need to build a hot spring. Okay, we can do that. Uh, there we go. Uh, where are we going to put it though? Maybe over here? I'm going to build maybe two if I can. Yeah. It's just going to help with the sanity. Yeah. Help me out, spark it. Get this done quickly so I can upgrade. We need more pals at the base. So once we get this done, we'll be able to upgrade the base. Yeah, sorry, I uh, got something in my throat there, guys.
Sorry, jeez. Something really got stuck in my throat there. Okay, uh, yeah, once we get this done, um, there we go. Then we can uh, upgrade this uh, power box. Uh, build medieval medicine workbench and deploy a work pal to the base. Uh, I've set seven out of eight. Ugh, now I got a hiccups. Okay, let's uh, see if we can do that. Uh, what do we need? Can't remember. Oh, the medicine mark bench. I think we have to unlock that. There it is. Got it. We also have the chillet saddle. I'm gonna unlock that. Uh, the elk deer. We don't need the saddle for it. I'm not gonna mount it. Nice, we got the spheres and the sphere workbench, cool, fire crossbow, wheat plantation, mole, uh, viewing cage, we'll get to those in a bit. First, we need to get uh, this one up. Um, is there space in here for it? I guess there is. Just chuck it right next to the bed, I guess. There we go. Yeah. Spark it. Can help me out here. Let's quickly build this. And I uh, need to assign uh, one more pal to the base and we can do another upgrade. I need to get the deer out and I want uh, what was the other pal I wanted to get out need to get the deer and there was oh uh, the tombat so we can that's a tier one we don't have another deer right uh, he's brave okay we'll put him in the base let's upgrade and get the tombat in there as well because the tombat's going to be good for mining because he has mining too Gathering to and uh, storing, uh, transporting to, which is good. Those, yeah, I think that's good. So we do have Chillet, it's an ice dragon. It's 11. Uh, what's this? Ugh, it's got minus 10. Defense. Uh, it's still got 115 defense, which is still bad actually. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can't get another chillet. Defense, we actually have a little bit of uh, destructive. What's destructive? Sanity drops. Okay, that's that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna replace the rush roar with the defense, the boss one, so we can get it leveled up. And I can also give it abilities. Ugh. Lag. I think we still have that other water ability, or we can give him uh, a dragon ability. Where did I put it? Over here. Ooh, acid rain. That's actually a good one. We'll give it acid rain. Because acid rain is real good. So now little Tifan has acid rain, aqua gun, and hydro jet. Cool. Okay. That's good. Nice. Okay. Got some food to cook up. Uh, let's just get my fox bar up here. And I'm dying of hunger. The first time that happened, <laughs> I didn't know what to do, and I actually did die. I'm gonna cancel, nope, acquire, cancel the berries. I wanna cook my food quickly. 
And then I'll queue up the berries again for the other fox part to finish. I also need more beds. Um, I got nine pals out. I need two more beds. So I also got the sphere workbench. We'll get to that right now. Let's uh, just make a few more pal beds. Let's make three more. Uh, maybe four. Yes. There we go. Penglet's gonna be on that. Um, chuck these in here. And I'm gonna help uh, Fox Bar cook this up. So yeah, these little Vixies are a must early game. So like you saw, I found them just here in the start of the orange area. Uh, the starting base area is over there, so it's just around the coast. You can get there very, very easily. Just grab yourself a couple of Vixies. And, uh, yeah, they're just going to give you a bunch of soul balls and arrows for free. And I think sometimes they dig up uh, coin. But if you need coin, um, you get the Mal that we caught, the little Egyptian cat, uh, they just give you coin in the uh, farm, which is awesome. Almost done here, last one cooking up, and then... I don't know, what, what, what should we do next though? Yeah, people doing wood and stone. Okay, she's finished. I'm just gonna queue these up again. 104, damn, these berries are going good. Um, what did we unlock? Anything new I want to craft? Oh, we got another, oh uh, no. Oh, the crossbow, we want the crossbow. Is uh, the ingots finished here? Fox bar, how are you going? 52 of them is finished, that should be way more than enough. Let's uh, grab our crossbow, it's going to do much more damage. I need nails first. Let's just do five more nails. Uh, sorry, fox bar. Yeah. I need someone to help me with this. Nails, quickly. Sparkette's going to be the one. And then finish up this nails get the crossbow and then maybe we can go do another dungeon or explore the map maybe get a flyer a flyer would be good if we can get a flyer yeah Okay, let me just finish this up. Uh, I think I'm just gonna cancel the rest of those, grab these, get our crossbow, help little spark it out with this crafting of the crossbow, and then we upgraded our weapon. Uh, I didn't make the bat yet, right? No, actually not. I'm still using the club. I'm gonna get rid of the club. Uh, so that's gonna force me to actually make the bat, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish before you, little Sparket. Should I call Sparket uh, Pikachu? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, Sparket's pretty cool as well. He has a lot of similar look to Pikachu, but it's it's actually completely different. You now the little ears got the little ears, and then he's got the little uh, scarf thingy, p scarf pelt, and the little whiskers are lightning. The tail's the same, I guess, and then the size and shape of the body is kind of the same, but it looks more mean the Pikachu though. <laughs> Little lightning on his forehead as well. Yeah, our crossbow is finished. Nice. So, 
I'm still gonna keep the normal bow just in case we want to tame something and don't do too much damage because the normal bow does 65 damage and the cross does 280 so it's a big difference we don't want to kill stuff when we're taming so let's keep that we do have the bat which I'm gonna replace with the torch uh, we actually need to repair some of the stuff uh, actually I did not have to repair it because I actually want to get the metal pick going let's quickly do this part kit before we go to bed and then we can maybe go do a dungeon how much spell spears do we have? we have a decent amount I was thinking of getting maybe looking for a different dungeon I don't want to keep doing this low level 13 that's next to our base uh, ooh, I need wood. Grab those ingots. Huh? We're like out of wood, I guess. Let me grab fox bar. Tomba, what are you doing? Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. The one next to it. There we go. Somebody, you need to be on mining. I don't want you to do anything else. Get it. Get there. Get stone. Thank you. That's all you need to do. Uh, let's go get some wood. Uh, fox spot. Fox. Uh, you. You smelting stuff. It's it's okay. You. There we go. Grab some wood up here. Yeah, so we did do one of the world pals. Uh, it's basically the lowest one you can do is level 11. There's a bunch more and then we do have the towers. The blue little shiny tower in the background. That's actual bosses that you fight. They are, I do believe there's five of them you need to fight. And yeah, as soon as we can we'll start doing that as well. Okay, I do have the wood. What do I want to make? Uh, the metal. We need the metal axe. There we go. Let's get this crafted. Actually, gonna switch back to spark it. So he can help me. He can help me. Let's go, let's go. Get it done. We do have the metal pick now, so I'm just gonna discard the stone one and I can discard the stone axe as well. There we go. Nice. Okay, so put the metal pick there. We have our hand torch. Got some food. So I'm just gonna swap those. Let me drop these off. And throw guys in there. Uh, wood and uh, fiber goes in there. Nice. Okay, let's take a little nap. And we'll go explore a little bit and look for a different level cave. Maybe a little higher level. Because we're at level 15. Okay, let's see. We did do that one. Um, maybe we should go and do that cave again. Yeah, uh, let's just go do this cave again. I mean, we can cycle the bosses at the end until we get one that we really want. Uh, I hear a shiny. This way. Are you up top there? Probably. Let's quickly go check it out. Shinies is rare uh, pals that can spawn in the world and uh, they have like an extra attack and a little bit, I think a little bit more health and stuff. And they are bigger than the normal ones. Kind of like the ones you get in the cave. 
I think it's exactly the same to be honest. I hear you little shiny where you at. Uh it's a shiny crimson. Uh, might as well catch it I guess. As you can see it's much bigger than this one. Uh, let's just catch it. That one can go. Kremis. We also have this boss here, King Packer. He's level 23. I don't think we can take him on yet. He's quite brutal. He has one big brutal body slam attack that he does and that really messes you up real quick. So let's go do this cave. Damn, that was a speed boost and all. Oh, it's closed. Okay, might have to find another one then. Uh, I do have the stuff I can sell at the merchant. Yeah, I want to sell you something. 7,500? Not bad. What are you going to give me three for the 100 bucks one? Ugh. Are you charging me how much? Buy one? What a ripoff. They only give me a hundred and I charge a thousand to buy. Whatever. Uh, let's quickly check the pals up here. Do you have any new pals for sale, sir? It's got a few fox paws, a chicken, and a muscle head tire owl. <laughs> okay. Um, wh where are we gonna go? I'm just trying to think. I mean, we, I guess we can go this way. Go here and up. And then across. Whoop. Nice. I love this Kilimari. He's a great uh, starter gliding pal. You do get better ones that are like fast, like the Gale Claw, which is like a hawk, I think. Um, they're pretty good as well. Um, I mean, the red or area starts over there. Maybe we can make our way over there. I actually want to get to the desert because there's a pal there, um, dig toys that I really want. But I think he's like level 20 and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a hard time catching him if we try to go there right now. Since I'm only level 15, my pals are uh, same level as I am, so... Who's fighting? Syndicate thugs? Spark it's gonna mess you guys up. You're gonna have a shocking experience. <laughs> Let's get up here. Here's a nice little egg we can grab. Verdant egg. Oh, here's the church. There's a bunch of men up behind it. Let's get, get over here. Get this fast travel. So we can instantly just get over here. Come grab some metal when we need it. There we go. I'll also grab the lure, which I'm never gonna read. And yeah, there's a little chest in here. There we go. And the left monk FG. Nice. Can I actually go through the window? Oh, I can. Kinda. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Well done. So we got metal over here. Ooh, there's an effigy up there. I wanna get it, which means I have to climb higher. There's a stone on the side of the wall. Okay. I need to regen stamina there. Just get up here. There we go. Effigy, you can see some rush roars up there. Uh, not much else. 
think the desert is this way. The way I w that way over there. Well, the small desert, not the big one. I want to catch some new pals. I also don't want to die, so it's kind of tricky. <laughs> Got another frack down here. Got some rush roars. Uh, I can see a fast travel over there, so let's head over there, I guess. Get a little speed boost. We can also do uh, enemy camps to get uh, get some pals for free. Well, it's not free. You have to like kill all the enemies first, but. You don't have to waste your pal spheres then, because you get them for free. Grab that, there's some thugs over there. Which we're gonna ignore and run this way. Ah, oh, these uh, statues are pretty, pretty good. Got like the AUG slash damaging that's on it. Ah, oh, it's so good, man. Oh, here we go. Barista. Level 17. Uh, we need a fire pal to take care of these ones. Yeah. Sorry, Sparkit. We need fire damage for this one. Oh man, if I can hit it. Oof. There's an ice attack. Got these cinemas as well. There we go, we got a barista. Noise. You're not attacking. Oh, there's the gale claw. I really don't want to fight them, they're quite annoying. And I missed picking up that ball. Ooh, that looks like a giant egg. Come on, this is a little downhill. Give me my little boost, there we go. Oh, I can climb a tree. I did not know that. There's a Robin Quill over here. It looks pretty freaking awesome. And yeah, it's a large electric egg. Nice. Are you Gris? No. It's still the girl claws probably. After me. You're attacking a floppy. No, floppy, I'll save you. No. Did I get the floppy? Or did they kill it? <gasps> I got the floppy. Uh, well, I didn't completely get it, but I got him with a Pokeball. Or Spal Sphere. Sorry. Uh, did it pop out? Or did I get it? I got it. I got a floppy. Okay, stupid gale claws. That one is actually low. Ooh, I could have popped it. Nope, I'm out. I don't wanna fight a robin quill, they look vicious. Ugh, more gale claws over here. Bunch of guys. Ooh, they distracted. Maybe I can steal the pal out of their cage. Yes, yes I can. I'ma save you. I'ma save you, pal. Come on, come on. I don't know why I was keep using my bow. I kind of forgot I <laughs> made a crossbow. <laughs> Grab that chest on the little slide past. Mm. Ooh, look at that area. Uh, ooh, this way is actually. What's it this way, right? Yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, ow, ow. Don't slow me, who's doing that? Was it Robin Crawl from way over there? Keep forgetting I can't hold it. It's a crossbow. Uh, 
Oh damn, Fox Bar. Ow! That hurt. Stop it. Get him, Fox Bar. Let's see if I can catch this. Do I have green spheres? I do. Come on. If I can catch this, this will be great. Cause it's, oh, he's shooting his little arrow. Now. I also have arrows, ass. Okay. Lost green sphere. Please get it. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go back to the blue ones. I don't want to use my expensive one I bought. Ah, I can't kill that. Ah, it's okay. Okay, Fox Bar is knocked out. Um, it was this way, right? Yeah. Wanna get our little boost? No, why did why 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 game? I double jumped. Give me my little boost. There we go. Somewhere here there's a fast travel point. Mama's there. Is it like here or somewhere? Yeah. There we go. Nice. Malta and green, I hear oh I hear thugs. Run away! I don't wanna play with you guys. Go away. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going this way. Fast more thugs. Freedom Alliance thugs. Hey, there's a cave here. Bye. What level is this? Level 29. We'll check it out, but <laughs> don't think we're gonna get too far. Okay, super dark in here. Um, what's that? A foul bat. I haven't seen one of those before. Um, dark type. I don't know which pals to use against the dark type. Uh, maybe let's try and spark it. Let's see if we can get this guy. Maybe, hopefully. Ah, moved. <gasps> Damn, that man killed spark it. Don't die, spark it. I'm gonna throw a dark type against a dark type. Ah, this crossbow that doesn't auto reload is so freaking annoying. And me missing is also freaking annoying. Reload, thank you. And I missed again. Okay, you come back, you're my glider. You yeah. must not die. Oh, I missed it. Damn, pink glitch. You too fast, man. I want to catch that, man. Okay. A grin tail. Oh, that's a big cat. Super dark in here, though. Um, uh, the fox bar is knocked out. I'm going to have to put a torch over there. Yeah. These cats are pretty good. I like them. Cute and fluffy and stuffy. Okay, um, uh, see if we can get any other pals or maybe some chests in here. Ooh, we got bee guards. I know they give honey, but they also explode. So maybe not. Let's keep going this way. And I'm hungry. 
Just feed everyone. Uh, let's see what's in the cave over here. Uh, free pala lions apparently. Level 22. These guys are gonna wreck my face. They have like machine guns and stuff. Let's see if I can't avoid them. Oh. Okay, I'm standing on air. Not complaining at this point. Don't you aggro. There's a box over here. Ooh, yoink. Got two mega spheres out of it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they found me. Go, go, go. Ow. Damn, that one arrow took half of my shield away. These guys do not mess around. Guys, leave me alone. I'm low level. I'm not a threat to you guys. Run, little GTX, run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get away from them. I don't know what I'm doing in this high level <laughs> cave. I mean, maybe I can catch a high level something, but... Don't know what, since... Yeah. Who? Uh, uh, Who? What are you? <gasps> Catrice, they're also good, but I think she'll mess me up right now. Let's go this way, see what's over here. Let's mosey on over here. Is this a boss area? Yes, it is. <laughs> what's it gonna be? A Cinemoth? I don't have fox bar, I need a fire pal to deal with that, so let's quickly do the old switcheroo. So let's switch to a different one. Any other type but uh, grass I can take on, because I do believe I have all the other uh, pals that can counter it or do more damage to it. But uh, I can't do grass. Ugh. Normal type. Like, alright. I mean, I guess we can see what we can do. Man, I do like 14 damage for that. 140 with that, not too bad. Spark kit, can you help me out here, mate? Ow, why can't I move this way? What the frick? Jeez, you nearly killed me. Maybe I'll try and catch this Gorath with the, the special ball I bought. I want to keep him at an angle so he can't get out of there, can't shoot me, but it's not working. I'm eating this stupid lanterns. Yeah, my spark hit died. Let's go, let's go, let's go, this is working. Oh, don't hit me. There we go, okay, let's see. Can I catch him? Oh, this is gonna plop him out of that position, isn't it? No. 8%. At least I have like 50 of these balls. I thought it was gonna pop back to where it was. And he's outside the map. And now he's gonna be able to shoot me, and I'm not gonna be able to shoot him. Is that the boss? Yeah, it is. Um, Defend, go! I don't know what you're gonna be able to do, but do something, please. 
Ooh, acid rain, nice. Ow! Hey, you should be fighting defense, not me. Defense already off out. Oh boy. You in the wall. Die. Sorry, Fant, I didn't mean to pull you out there. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this. Pangolet's almost dead. <sighs> if it comes back to this little spot where you get stuck, then... Ooh. And this crossbow just reloads. 14 damage, and how many times I'm gonna have to hit this critical shots? Luckily, I changed the settings so my pals heal pretty quick. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Let's see what Kilamari can do. Stop throwing him at the bottom, I won't throw him there. Thank you. Get him, Kilamari. Seven damage. At least he's doing some type of crit damage to it. Okay, if he just stays like that, then maybe. Just wanna quickly see that is not good this one okay that's good it's almost full health and it's only a certain amount of uh, like a decent amount of uh, percentage for catching so once we get him down we should be able to catch this guy and then we have a boss gar rat big as monkey gorilla thing looks pretty cool with a Goku style hair, <laughs> the big uh, Popeye forearms. You see, it's pretty good. Looks pretty good. We're just gonna have to sit here a while and uh, pile some arrows into his skull until he decides he wants to be our friend. Oh no! Don't turn on him. No, I had you stuck in a good spot. I messed that up the night. Ooh. Okay, kinda got him back stuck in a new spot. It's pretty good. At least. There we go, there we go. Getting his health down nice and good. Come on. We can do this, we can do this. Killer is doing work. I mean, it's only 5 or 7 damage, but. He didn't even hit her when uh, he was attacking her, so it's pretty good. Come on, Gorath. You're my friend, man. You're level 28. <laughs> now, obviously, he's not going to be at 28 because it uh, downgrades them to your level, but I mean, it is a semi-boss slash lucky, and he's pretty strong already, so... Go, 500 health left on you. I think I'm gonna try and get it like below 100 and then just YOLO the hypersphere at it, I guess. Ow. Yeah, you're angry guy beating your chest. Ow! I missed. Oh wow, Kilimori almost died. I think we'll do the rest of this by ourselves. Don't kill one Kilimori to die, she's my little glider parachute thing. 130. We're getting there, 88. I'm gonna get at him as low as possible. Maybe one or two more shots. Yeah, one more. 
Okay, 20. I can probably hit it one more time. Nah, let's, let's see. 2% on this one, and the hypersphere, 54%. Maybe one more. There, yeah, six percent. Let's uh, let's try this one. Nope. Wrong button. Let's try. What's twelve percent? Don't glitch out, please. Don't glitch out. He's kind of in the wall. Catch it, catch it. Yes. <laughs> Woo, we didn't need to use our hypersphere, and then you as well. Messed. Get in that ball, or just stay distracted so I can go past you. There we go, there we go. Oh, I got him, nice. Mind form him as well, hooligan. Cold blooded, nice. Okay, let's grab all prizes over here and get out of here. This was difficult. I mean, it is a higher level cave than we are, so. Uh, life pendant, another heat resistant shirt. Wait, we already have a heat resistant, right? Yeah, we have two now. I think. Yeah. Uh, we don't need the heat resistant right now. What does this give me? Uh, it slightly raises defense. Nice. Slightly raises health. Okay, so we have 782 health. Put this on. 830. Eh, decent. Keep it there. This is for selling. Uh, we need to hatch that egg up. <gasps> I got a copper key. Nice. No. Keep the copper key on me. Uh, this is also for selling. Put the copper key over there. Got cloth and stuff. Okay, cool. Got a robin quoll. Can't you remember how good they were? Was that just a normal egg? It's another barista. Here's a floppy. Ah, let's just get home. Oh, here's a boss over here. Battalia. Battalia? Okay, cool. And this one, Elephandra. Elephandra? Okay, I think we've been small explored quite a bit. Uh, let's just get back to base. Now I do need to pop my pals in here um, to heal. Got the fox bar and spark kit. They need to heal up. So growth, uh, full power growth mode. It's one of his skills. It's a normal skill, yeah. He's got stone blast, ground pound, and power shot. He's a normal type, so it would be good to have him with us. But which one, though? This one has more health and damage. So yeah, the boss one. Keep the boss one on us. We also got a daisy. Dazzy, sorry, a dazzy. A uh, bottomless stomach. Oh my goodness. It's a bad stat. But she's a good electric. Um, yeah, 2, 3, 6 damage, it's way more than our spark kit, but she is level 19 and spark kit's only 16 though, so, spark kit, spark kit has the swift there, we also got the bur, baristol, baristol, uh, he's got ice and leaves, uh, grass attack. Got potion making s uh, skill too as well. We also got the floppy. The kind of the same, except Bristol has the more uh, potion making skill. The better potion making skill. Dazzy. One thousand three hundred health. Thousand one hundred. So they're kind of the same. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got some stuff. Uh, 
Syndicate scout party. I'm getting raided, guys. So this is another thing that happens. Well, you can turn it off, but I have mine turned on. So we're getting raided. Uh, luckily, they're up there, so they won't be able to get to my base. But you did get raids on your base, and it depends on your base level, the um, type of uh, pals or humans that is going to attack you, the level of them. Um, gonna take some berries just because I don't have any other food right now. Need to feed my guys. Calamari as well. There we go. Drop off all this stuff. We also got later seeds, which is a later game thing, but we got it, so that's good. Drop that. Drop that, and seeds goes in here. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, over here, I think I got a meal, there we go. Got food, I don't have those green bowls anymore, we can actually craft some of those. Uh, we got the two eggs. Got the heat resistant shirts, I'm just gonna keep them and then chuck the cloth in there. These we need to go sell. Let's quickly hatch these eggs. Verdant egg, let's see what we get. Another floppy, okay cool. And the large electric, I hope this is gonna be something good. A rye hound, nice. Nice, nice, nice. He's a mount as well, so... Um, that'll be good for us. Uh, Rhyhound, uh, he's mountable. He has Sandblast as his ability, but you're electric, man. He's got electric too for base work, which is pretty good. Uh, Floppy, we have a floppy. I don't want a floppy. Give me a Rayhound. And then we can actually give him a skill fruit. Or did I use my electric? Or did I have an electric skill fruit? I might have used it or not have it. Uh Draconic Breath is pretty good. I know the dragon stuff does decent damage to some guys. I'm gonna give it to uh, Rayhound. Rayhound. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so yeah, Sand does and that. Still doesn't have an electric ability, but we'll fix that pretty soon. Uh, let's quickly take a nap because it's dark as hell out here. can see. Nice. Okay, there's a few stuff we need to go sell. Uh, I think we got uh, decently far today, guys. Uh, got our little base set up here. We got some good pals. This is my favorite one catch of the day. It's this little guy, because he just lets you glide forever. Uh, compared to the parachute. And yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like. Um, I do have a Patreon. Don't expect anyone to um, pay me anything. Um, I'm just doing this now for the fun of it, to get my channel up. Um, so if you guys want to, I do have a Patreon. There's not going to be any extra perks or anything. It's purely just going to be if you want to help me out. You know, maybe tell me, sponsor me something and tell me to get headsets or whatever. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Bye.